Hello, welcome back to Two Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard and today I'm here to tell you about quizzes. What quizzes is, is a quiz application for your classroom that is very similar to Kahoot. However, you're able to assign each quiz as homework and you get an individualized scoring report from every user, which I think is a fantastic improvement. This also has Google Classroom integration, which allows you to use this in a much more versatile way than as a whole room quiz application. To get started using quizzes is extremely easy and it'll only take me a couple of minutes to get you up and running. So let's take a look. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is go to quizzes.com and in the top right hand corner you're going to hit the login button and then you'll see a tab that says create new account. The account creation page is very straightforward. We're going to go through that and then you will get to their landing page. This landing page allows you to search through existing quizzes, create your own quiz, or look at featured quizzes. Alright, we're going to hit create new quiz and we are going to go and give our quiz a name and we're going to set it for public or private and select a language and then it is very straightforward just like Kahoot you create a question for answers select the right answer and that's it uh, there is a tab at the top with various symbols you have math symbols Greek Latin and currency symbols which is very handy for some alright and then we get that done and then you hit create next question go through the same process very straightforward when you're done you hit finish in the top right hand corner and then you're able to label it as a subject or a topic now we're going to hit finish and create quiz and it's going to take you to this page now this is where quizzes really differentiates itself from Kahoot you have the play live version but you also have this homework button over here and then down below because you have homework you can share the link through various social media outlets we're going to go ahead and click the homework tab and we can set a date and a time for the homework to be due when we assign it and then we have our question and game settings below very similar to Kahoot but once you hit proceed it's going to make that quiz go live now you can see that your assignment is live you have the game code just like you would in Kahoot but you also have the share on Google Classroom tab right here and directions below to assign that to a class so now we're going to go to my quizzes and you can see the quiz that we just created and now we're going to click that public tab and this allows you to search through other people's published quizzes for one that you would like to use or would like to modify this is a big time saver for teachers uh, those of you familiar with Kahoot we do this a lot okay so uh, you just hit duplicate it's going to put it into your my quizzes tab and then you just go to that quiz and hit edit and you can edit however you would like. Alright, now I'm going to show you the My Reports tab. This is the second big differentiation from Kahoot. With the My Reports tab, you're able to get feedback per question and for each individual student. This allows you to use this as a formative assessment, kind of like how I use Kahoot to get an idea of what my class knows overall, and as a summative assessment to see what each individual student has learned during the unit. It's this depth of reporting that I think pushes quizzes past Kahoot as a quiz classroom application. And that does it for our look at quizzes. I hope that you found this useful. If you have, please hit subscribe below. And each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technologies and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.